Hi there, and welcome to Ian's Engage channel. I'm Ian. If you've watched the channel regularly, you'll know that I've always wanted a rake of Pullman coaches on one of my layouts, ever since travelling in one during my childhood. And in previous videos, I've shared updates about how my desire to create a Pullman train in Engage has progressed. Actually, the previous video in the series culminated with me saying how I'd probably now completed the rake of coaches. In this video, I'm going to explain why probably was the right word to use. Just to reiterate from a previous video, I'm building a train of Pullman coaches that are based on the BR Mark I carriage design that were built by Metro Camel in the early 1960s. Over 40 of these coaches were manufactured in order to modernise Pullman services on the East Coast mainline. Pullman trains gave a luxurious travel experience with plus seating, a steward service and offered high quality dining. Regular Pullman services ran on the East Coast mainline until 1972. Since then, Pullman coaches have been featured on many rail tours and are also preserved by several heritage railways. With my Pullman rake running at six coaches long, with a loco added to the mix, it was already as long as my longest planned siding. So adding a seventh coach didn't really make any sense, did it? The problem was that, for whatever reason, it really bothered me that I didn't have a brake coach for the rake. Obviously, I could always run the rake with a Mark I Blue Grey or Blood and Custard brake, which I believe happened back in the day sometimes. But wouldn't it be great to have a matching brake in umber and cream? I know Graham Farish once produced a Pullman brake coach, but having searched for one quite extensively, they appear to be a very rare commodity, and I've never actually seen one for sale. Enter Backman Collectors Club. In Backman's recent summer 2024 announcements, one of the few new Graham Farish models announced was a Pullman brake composite corridor coach. I couldn't believe my luck. Even though all of my previous Pullman coaches had been pre-owned and had been obtained at very reasonable prices, I just couldn't let the opportunity to own a Pullman brake coach slip through my fingers and couldn't get my order in fast enough. And here it is. Costing nearly £48 including postage, it's almost twice as expensive as any two of my other pre-owned Pullman coaches combined. So I have to ask, was it worth the money? Well, being a Backman Collectors Club exclusive, there are only a limited number of models available, which immediately makes it quite rare, which will no doubt make it difficult to obtain in the future. The coach is also beautifully detailed, and I think even more finely detailed than the other coaches in my rake. There are plenty of separately fitted parts, including pipes, handrails, and I'm not sure about the door handles, but even if they're moulded, they're very nicely picked out in silver paint. There's also an accessory pack that contains pipes, hooks, and what I think are corridor coupling details that can be fitted to the model. The transfers applied to the model are nicely detailed, with the coach name, sole bar information, and door details being just a few examples. The paintwork is exemplary with nice crisp lines defining areas between the umber and cream colouring. The detail of the curtains in the windows is very nicely done, and being able to see through the compartment seating to the corridor beyond is fantastic. The roof of the coach also has lots of detail, with moulded vents and periscope housings. It also contains separately fitted pipework that continues down the rear of the coach, where steps can also be seen that give access to the roof. As well as the excellent amount of detail, the coach features NEM coupling pockets and a close coupling mechanism, and is fitted with Commonwealth bogies. Weighing in at 27 grams, the coach has plenty of weight and is beautifully free rolling. Is it worth the money? Well. Given the price of models today, I think it's definitely one of the better detailed coaches I've seen, and I'm pretty sure it will be difficult to find one once they've sold out, so I'm pretty sure that they'll retain their value. So yes, I think it is worth the money. Here's a quick running session of the complete rake running around my test track behind a Dapple Class 50 named Thunderer. Thank you. 
OK, so that's about it for this update. I'm now incredibly happy with the rake of coaches I've amassed and can confidently say that I've, uh, probably, completed the rake. The final piece of the puzzle is what I'm going to get to haul them. I've got a Dapple A4 on pre-order that would be a really good fit, but I've mentioned previously that I'd quite like to see Flying Scotsman hauling the rake. If I want a more prototypical loco, that fits with the era Shelfington will be modelled in, then I think that a Deltic is the only way to go. But they're quite rare to find nowadays too, especially the blue ones. Who knows, maybe I'll eventually end up with all three on the layout. Oh, as an aside, didn't the Class 50 look good hauling the rake? I've not run the Class 50 much, but I'm incredibly impressed with how quiet it runs and how easily it hauled the rake of seven coaches at various speeds. Anyway, let me know what you think. Alternatively, if you've got any hints, tips, useful tools or techniques to pass on to a beginner in Engage Modelling, or if you simply want to say hello, then please do so in the comments section. Anything and everything you've got to say will be greatly appreciated. In the meantime, thanks ever so much for watching. Hopefully I'll have another update soon. Bye.